So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. A little quick uh, check on the cylinder head because I'm thinking about uh, sending this to a machine shop. I, I have another spare that I can use. So I'm kind of removing some of the uh, valve frames. Um, the reason being it's because that cylinder head, the one that I showed you guys, I don't know what happened to the uh, camshaft retainers. I think somehow it got mixed up that I put it onto here. So I have a spare that I use and somehow it's just too tight. The cams would not turn. So something wrong with the, it's not a set. But this one, I, since I happen to have another spare, and that's a match set so i'm gonna send this one today's episode is i want to answer some of my uh, subscribers uh, questions what is the advantage of using an h22a4 using it on a g23 vtech build there's quite a lot actually uh, if you think about it there's a disadvantage and lots of advantage to start with you don't have a confusion on which head gasket to use so it's just plain and simple H22A4 head gasket which is if you're using an F23 block there's lots some people use H22 and they never had any problem some people use F23 me myself, I never had any problem with F23 OEM, but only OEM. I only use OEM regardless if it's boosted or NA and uh, no aftermarket. I have told you guys before, I, we use a Felpro and it didn't work out for us. Then number two, you don't have to put the plug on your cylinder head or something like this. You don't have to spend $43 to buy from KS Tuned to plug your cylinder head. And also, number three will be no oil leaks. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the oil leaks. So there's three already on just the cylinder head alone. Okay, now we get into the block. I'll start with the uh, water cooling. On the water cooling, you just simply use your H22. There is no need to use a F23 water cooling lines and then cut it and then reconnect them together. So it's a win-win here. Now let's get into the front. F23 pump. You just simply use your H22A4 water pump. There is no need to buy your your F23 water pump with H22 gears in it from KS Tune, which is gonna cost you like 150 or 160 dollars. So that's uh, what uh, number five already, right? And of course, there is no confusion on what engine bracket to use. You already got one. Yeah, you don't have to source from F23 or CB7 or modified any of your engine bracket. Yeah. Your belt tensioner, of course, it's optional. You can use your existing one. Or if you happen to have a those adjustable one, KS tuned, just make sure that you put uh, the right or the correct tension as far as like the belt is concerned. That way you don't have to be hearing that whining sound if you tighten it too much. Balance shaft, you already got one. Use it for free. Or it's up to you if you want to uh, use the KS tune or do it yourself. Plugging the oil uh, galleys and all that. And just simply made a plate to cover this up. And of course, no confusion on... The gears, yeah, you already got it, already. Timing belt, 
You just use simply an H22. So that's, I think that's about eight advantages already or something like that. The main thing really is the head gasket. Yeah, you don't have to worry about head gasket leaking yeah, through here. And also, you can still use your cover. Yeah, you don't have to expose, not unless you wanted to. Uh, disadvantages. Well, as everyone knows, the reason why we are using an F23 block, it's because of its iron sleeve. Because you have the ability or you have the options down the line to boost your build. So since this is a FRM sleeve, yeah, you are so limited on picking a piston. That's the uh, disadvantages. But if it's NA setup, you put a regular H22A4. Do not modify the piston like I did. I'm not saying do. Uh, I'm not saying modify it. Uh, you're on your own if you do. Um, yeah, just stick it on there, and it will give you uh, 11, 11.8 to one compression ratio. And if you have a Type S camshafts or Skunk 2. Man, you're golden. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, advantages on using an H22A4 building a G23. And that's with F23 crankshaft together with F23 connecting rods and H22A4. Yeah, it's just your piston selection is so limited. But if you have your block re-sleeve, oh man, it's endless. Yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, it'll be perfect. So for some that having an idea since I opened the book for you guys, uh, I know some have asked about using a Type S piston, an H22A4 Type S piston. If you visit zillautoworks.com and you punch in those numbers, just click on whatever selections you put on there, type S piston, the compression will be too high. So if you're not really not sure on what you are doing, um, possibility that the tuner would not touch your motor or your car because you're pushing like 13 to 1 compression ratio according to that website. So not unless you're using an E85 fuel for fuel, but if you are thinking about using a Type S piston, uh, make sure to contact your tuner first. Ask them if they can tune it either pump gas or E85. A corn fed, you'll be okay. But still, 13 to 1 is too high. That's for uh, drug racers. Yeah, you don't want that thing on the streets. But again, some, some guys probably uh, tried it already and they never have any problem. But me, myself, I, I never tried it and I probably would not try it. Yeah. There's too many things that could go wrong. Especially with that piston sticking out so much. Yeah. You, you might have a possibility of smacking uh, the valves. Okay, guys. So hopefully this will give you more information. And uh, yeah, um, I'm going to send this one to machine shop and get this thing uh, shaved or something. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you like this one. It's a little bit of information that everyone should know. Well, that's just about it for this uh, episode. And uh, hopefully... Uh, I help you guys out, even though not very much. And get your project going, man. Let's build this thing together. Hopefully you guys already uh, get to this far, like I did. But I am going to remove that cylinder head again and uh, buy uh, a good head gasket. I, I put it all together so uh, for demonstration only, but I decided a different route. All right, guys. I'll see you guys back. Thanks for watching, man. 
I'll see you. Bye-bye. Take care.